Deep in Russia's Caucasus Mountains, there's a place where compasses twist without reason, GPS devices blink out entirely, and locals still whisper about doors sealed into the mountainside that shouldn't exist. Mount Karahora rises from the kabardino balkaria Republic, a jagged mist-shrouded formation surrounded by dense forests where the air reportedly feels heavy, rocks hum faintly underfoot, and animals refuse to approach the base. Official maps mark it as ordinary geological terrain, but there are zones where magnetic instruments spike inexplicably and drones lose signal mid-flight. In 2024, leaked satellite images appeared showing symmetrical indentations on Karahora's northern face, patterns that looked less like natural rock fractures and more like faint outlines of artificial structures buried beneath layers of ice and debris. The images, allegedly from a European commercial Earth observation satellite, were deleted within hours, but not before independent researchers copied and analyzed them. Within a day, Russian forums were calling it the biggest geological mystery since Dyatlov Pass. What the images seemed to show was shocking. Parallel ridges spaced at precise intervals forming a trapezoidal formation roughly 100 meters wide, completely unlike any known natural feature in the region. But satellite anomalies are only the latest chapter in decades of strange reports from this forbidden mountain. During World War II, Nazi Ananerba operatives, Hitler's occult research division, allegedly conducted expeditions into the North Caucasus, searching for ancient civilizations and Aryan origins. While no official records mention Mount Karahora specifically, several fragments refer to a secondary mountain system west of Elbrus containing ancient caverns of interest and describe stone formations of perfect angularity, requiring native guides to access. The geography matches Karahora almost exactly. After the German retreat in 1943, the Soviets sealed high mountain passes and launched archaeological surveys ostensibly to document wartime damage. But declassified files reveal a more curious motive involving anomalous subterranean cavities of potential engineering origin. Here's what makes this genuinely unsettling. In 2011, mountaineer and geologist Artur Zhemukov claimed his team entered a narrow fissure at Karahora's southern base and descended 60 meters into an underground chamber with walls of smooth basalt laced with metallic veins. His notes described a mechanical resonance when rock was struck, as if hollow behind the surface, and mentioned geometric symbols carved into stone. The group's last radio message reported heat signatures deeper down before contact was lost for hours. They re-emerged disoriented. Two weeks later, Zhemakov's colleagues refused to speak publicly about what occurred. In 2015, Zhemakov vanished during a follow-up trip to the same region. His tent, equipment, and documents were found, but no trace of him. His family claims authorities confiscated his notebooks under environmental investigation orders, and his earlier field data from 2011 disappeared from university archives. The site where he vanished has been quietly cordoned off by security patrols posing as wildlife rangers. What exactly is sealed beneath Mount Karahora, and why has it remained restricted through every political shift from Soviet Union to modern Russia? Let's examine what we actually know, what can't be explained, and why this might represent one of geology's most genuinely baffling mysteries. The kabardino balkaria Republic sits in the heart of the North Caucasus, a mountain system stretching like a natural fortress between the Black and Caspian Seas. Mount Elbrus, Europe's highest peak, dominates the skyline, and Karahora lies roughly 100 kilometers southeast. The terrain is violent, steep slopes, deep gorges, constant seismic activity. Rivers carve through limestone, creating sinkholes and tunnels that collapse without warning. The climate is alpine but unpredictable, with snow, fog, and sudden heat from underground geothermal vents occurring in a single day. Access is notoriously difficult. Military restrictions combined with unpredictable weather mean much of this region remains genuinely unexplored. Geologically, the North Caucasus is among Earth's most complex zones, sitting at the collision point of Arabian and Eurasian tectonic plates in constant movement, folding and uplifting rock layers over millions of years. Most caves in the region follow natural patterns, irregular, uneven, scarred by erosion. But what makes Karahora strange, according to explorers and early geological notes, is that some voids beneath it appear unnaturally smooth, with surfaces polished as if cut by tools rather than carved by water. In one account from a 1980s geological survey, 
a team described finding parallel grooves running perfectly straight for meters through solid basalt, something almost impossible for nature to form independently. That report was never officially published, and samples supposedly collected from the site later vanished from archives. When scientists analyze magnetic data from the region today, they notice small but consistent distortions around the Karahora Massif. These anomalies might be explained by concentrations of magnetite, an iron-rich mineral common in basalt, yet some patterns don't align with expected geological models. A few Russian geophysicists have quietly suggested readings might indicate large cavities or structures of unusual density beneath the mountain. To understand why Karahora's mystery resonates so deeply, consider the people who've lived in its shadow for centuries. The Balkars and Karachays, Turkic-speaking highlanders, have called these valleys home since medieval times. Their culture grew in isolation, shaped by harsh winters and belief that mountains were alive. Local tales describe stone doors sealed by divine hands, tunnels where voices echo back words that aren't yours, and spirits guarding the black heart of the mountain. Some older villagers in nearby settlements still refuse to speak Karahora's name aloud after sunset. According to their stories, those who tried to open the mountain were swallowed by it. Phenomena we recognize today as earthquakes, sudden sinkholes, or magnetic surges, all common in the region. Some researchers believe the mountain served as a spiritual or ritual boundary. Ancient legends describe a forbidden ridge where metal sang when struck, suggesting people sensed magnetic properties long before modern instruments existed. In recent decades, archaeologists from Cabardino Balcarian State University have studied the region's prehistoric burial grounds, uncovering evidence of complex social hierarchies and advanced metal casting techniques. However, no official excavations have been granted permission to explore the Karahora sector, perhaps due to conservation laws protecting fragile ecosystems, though others quietly suspect the restriction relates to what lies underground. A handful of independent explorers who tried reaching the area in the early 2000s reported abandoned Soviet-era equipment and unmarked fencing, interpreted as signs of a decommissioned research or military zone. Adding to the mystery are subtle environmental oddities reported by locals and visiting scientists. Compasses often drift by several degrees near lower slopes, small electronic devices malfunction, and birds change flight paths to avoid the area. Some hikers have described a low vibrating hum, barely audible but strong enough to feel in the chest, seemingly coming from the ground itself. Seismologists speculate the noise could be resonance from deep earth movements or underground water flow through narrow channels, but patterns aren't consistent with known acoustic data. At night, strange lights occasionally flicker near the summit, possibly due to piezoelectric discharges, small energy bursts created when crystalline rocks like quartz are squeezed under stress. The leaked 2024 satellite images revived an older, more disturbing story beyond Zhemakov's disappearance. In 2017, Vadim Chernobrov, a well-known researcher on anomalous phenomena, led a small private expedition toward Karahora to verify reports of strange magnetic pulses. Chernobrov had previously studied the Durbent anomaly, a zone of unexplained geomagnetic activity elsewhere in the Caucasus. His final recorded communication mentioned the team detected an abnormal energy field near a ravine below Karahora's western ridge. Days later, the group turned back after one member allegedly collapsed with symptoms consistent with acute radiation exposure, though no hospital records were ever released to confirm this. Within months, Chernobrov died under undisclosed circumstances, and all expedition data including photographs and sensor readings were said to have been lost in transit. One of the most persistent modern legends involves the case of vanishing photographs, attributed to a Russian-American filmmaker named Mikhail Splavinov. In 2018, Splavinov claimed to have obtained drone footage shot by a foreign survey team that accidentally captured unusual geometric shadows on the mountain's northern slope. He allegedly uploaded still frames showing angular structures embedded in terrain, resembling man-made corridors or terraces. Within hours of posting, his website was taken offline for copyright violations. Splavinov later told an independent journalist that his files were remotely wiped and cloud backups corrupted, which he interpreted as deliberate interference. No copies of these photographs have surfaced publicly since. After 2020, the Karahora Enigma entered a new phase as advances in radar and satellite imagery allowed more precise Earth mapping. 
a Russian geophysical report from 2021, briefly available through a Moscow-based academic repository before being retracted, described periodic low-frequency vibrations beneath the Karahora Massif. These vibrations, measured at depths between 3 and 5 kilometers, appeared too regular to be mere tectonic noise. The data hinted at vast hollow cavities or voids extending laterally across the mountain, claims dismissed by the Russian Academy of Sciences as misinterpretation of local wave reflections. Still, the paper's authors insisted their equipment had been calibrated against known control zones, implying the anomalies were genuine. One co-author later resigned and refused further interviews, fueling speculation the research had been suppressed. Meanwhile, residents from nearby settlements continue reporting strange environmental changes. Shepherds speak of sudden static electricity bursts crackling through air, especially during winter nights, and hunters describe faint mechanical sounds beneath snow, like machinery turning very far below. Though these accounts sound fantastical, they align loosely with real geophysical phenomena known as microseismic vibrations, which can produce low-frequency noises under certain conditions. Yet the pattern of reports, always clustered near the same coordinates, keeps scientists uneasy. The mountain's wartime and Cold War history deepens the mystery. In the 1940s, as Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union, the Caucasus became a strategic objective for both armies, not only for oil fields, but for reasons beyond ordinary warfare. Documents recovered after the war show the Ananerba did send researchers into the North Caucasus, particularly around Mount Elbrus, which they viewed as symbolically significant. While no official records mention Mount Karahora by name, several fragments refer to secondary mountain systems containing ancient caverns of interest, described in coded language as sites inaccessible without native guides featuring stone formations of perfect angularity. After German retreat in 1943, Soviets sealed many high mountain passes and launched their own surveys. Files uncovered in the 1990s reveal a more curious motive. One document now archived at the Russian State Military History Repository describes anomalous subterranean cavities of potential engineering origin found during an aerial photogrammetry campaign in 1948. The images, taken by reconnaissance aircraft, allegedly showed discontinuous subsurface voids inconsistent with normal limestone dissolution. These findings were never published, and the report was marked special storage only, a classification reserved for material relevant to national security. During the Cold War's height, Karahora's name appeared again in Soviet Ministry of Defense internal memos. From 1958 to 1962, parts of kabardino balkaria were designated restricted military zones with access granted only to authorized geologists and radio engineers. Officially, this restriction linked to aerospace communication testing, but field notes hint at something stranger. One entry, written by a technician from a regional observatory, mentions radio interference of non-atmospheric origin recorded in the Karahora sector, a repeating signal pattern not corresponding to any known frequency modulation. Though dismissed by superiors as equipment malfunction, similar reports appeared in independent field journals several years later. One of the most puzzling aspects is the map discrepancy. Several Soviet topographic maps from the 1960s omit parts of the mountain entirely, replacing them with blank grids or coded reference numbers. In later reprints, those blanks were filled with simplified terrain contours that don't match modern satellite data. When cartographers compared these maps to declassified reconnaissance images from the 1980s, they found mismatches of up to 4 kilometers in elevation markings, errors almost impossible to explain unless data had been intentionally altered. Satellite photos from 1983 show an artificial-looking plateau on Karahora's southern face, possibly remains of an access road or collapsed entrance shaft. A few retired military engineers have hinted that Karahora may have housed a short-lived deep storage bunker during the 1970s nuclear arms buildup, though no conclusive proof exists and every surviving structure visible today appears eroded or natural. In recent years, the mountains have quietly become the focus of serious scientific attention. The North Caucasus Geophysical Observatory, established in the late 2000s, has been conducting detailed surveys across kabardino balkaria monitoring seismic activity, geomagnetic variations, and underground water flow. 
publicly available data mentions frequent magnetic fluctuations detected near the Bezengi and Elbrus sectors, phenomena occasionally described as compass distortions or unexplainable signal interference. Scientists propose these readings could be caused by ultramafic rocks rich in iron and magnesium, which distort magnetic instruments when concentrated in large veins. However, some researchers, particularly from smaller local institutes, argue that the consistency and pattern of disturbances suggest something more geometric beneath the surface. An array, they say, too regular to be entirely natural. A particularly interesting project under the Russian Academy of Sciences focused on subsurface tomography, using sound waves and electromagnetic pulses to scan underground voids. In 2021, a summary published in a Russian geophysical journal referenced a low-density anomaly extending several hundred meters beneath the Karasu Valley, associated with Stone Gate legends. The report offered strictly geological interpretation, suggesting likely collapsed karst cavities caused by underground water erosion. Still, the sheer regularity of some voids, especially one appearing to form an almost rectangular chamber, sparked speculation when local bloggers obtained translated excerpts. Whether natural geological phenomena or something genuinely anomalous, Mount Karahora remains one of Russia's most restricted and mysterious locations, a place where the line between explainable science and unsettling unknown remains frustratingly blurred.